Hi guys, Scott Duffy here, and I'm still down here in Orlando, Florida. Microsoft Ignite was a week ago, and I'm just going to hang out here for a few days just to get some relaxation in before I get home and get back to work. But I wanted to talk to you about an exciting new feature for Microsoft Azure exams. These are called performance testing. Now we know that Microsoft, it's been a long time since Microsoft has had purely multiple choice questions. They've been adding drag and drop questions or drop down list boxes, putting things in the correct order. There's case study questions. Some uh, multiple choice questions have multiple correct answers. A lot of innovation in the testing space. Well, a lot of the competitors are stuck doing multiple choice exams for certifications. Microsoft has been moving away from that for 10 years at least. Well, they're deciding to continue down that path to testing actual knowledge instead of just testing your memorization and trivia when it comes to uh, Microsoft Azure and certifications they're moving closer and closer towards testing your actual knowledge now what's wrong with multiple choice questions when you're asking a multiple choice question often you have a bit of a bias to it so they might ask a PowerShell question or a CLI question or you know they're coming to a, a solution from from a coming to a problem from a single solution Whereas in reality, and when you're working in a real environment, you have multiple choices to build a correct solution. You don't have to use PowerShell. You can use ARM templates. You can use CLI. You can do stuff directly in the portal. As long as you can deliver the result being asked, that should be the correct answer. And so Microsoft recognizes that. And so they're moving towards testing the solution and not testing how you came up with that solution. This is called performance testing and this is a new feature of the azure az you know 100 200 300 exams so as an example imagine a world where in an exam scenario you're sitting in the prometric testing center and you're asked to create a couple of vms and availability set and you're given an azure portal account with cloud shell access even and you can go in and you can create two vms and availability set however it is that you would do that. If you go to the portal, you can do that. If you want to do that in PowerShell or in CLI, you can do that either way, as long as at the end of the day, it follows the question that's being asked and the expected results. So Microsoft is moving to a world where they're going to give you an assignment like that and they're graded on the result that the environment will be able to test whether two virtual machines with the right names in the availability set with the right name has been created. So talking to Microsoft and having taken some of these exams myself, I have not seen this type of question on the 100, 200, 300 series exams, but I have seen it on a something 01 exam. So like a 101, AZ 101 has had the performance testing. So you're given an environment and a number of six or seven tasks to perform, and you have to go through and perform each task. Also, Microsoft has said that the tasks are not necessarily going to be dependent on each other. So this would be almost a nightmare if you're given six tasks to perform and you can't complete the first task and that's dependent on the, all the remaining tasks. Okay, so if you can't complete the first task, you're going to get seven questions wrong. That doesn't seem right. So Microsoft acknowledges this as well and they're going to be making as much as possible the questions are not and the tasks are not going to be dependent upon each other. So this is already live in the betas of the AZ uh, something 01 exams, the advanced uh, exams on some of these series. So it, this is my whole point of this is to expect to see hands on questions coming up in the Microsoft Azure uh, labs. So make sure you get your hands on practice. Hopefully you're all experienced in Microsoft Azure when you're taking these tasks. But don't just rely on videos, don't just rely on practice tests or on never ever rely on dumps. Um, getting hands-on experience, being able to create things two, three, four, five times, you get to start to have a sort of muscle memory of it. And then you're going to be able to, when you sit down to the exam, have a very familiar interface. And even if you don't exactly remember, you know, what uh, availability, what, uh, you know, region you need to create it in in order to get the availability zone, to show up, you at least know that changing the region is going to affect whether the availability zone is there or not, and you can experiment until it works. So um, now they're always going to give you a limited amount of time for this. 
So don't expect you got 90 minutes to create this virtual machine, but um, this is coming up. And one of the exciting things about the Microsoft Azure exams. So this has been Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about Microsoft Azure and Azure certification.